what a freaking fantastic machine. Oh my God, so much fun. This one's been massaged to perfection by the man manic mechanic himself, Jeff Castine, um, and completely gone through, and it runs like a brand new motorcycle. Sounds like a brand new motorcycle. It looks like a brand new motorcycle, but it's not a brand new motorcycle. It's a 1970, making this bike 51 years old. It's a legitimate antique. This is this bike's a clue why Honda almost put Triumph and uh, Harley Davidson out of business because the quality of the bikes were off the hook. The electronics, the mechanics, the brakes, the suspension, the drum brakes on this thing are about the best set of drum brakes I've ever ridden on a motorcycle. Just fantastic beautiful piece. Let me throw the license plate on here so we can comply with the uh, local authorities and take it for a ride. This is the original factory exhaust that's been slightly modified. The baffles have been slightly modified to give it that rip-roaring dragster sound that's coming out of it. What a beautiful piece. Let's go do a drive-by. Um, this is the original seat cover, and it's in excellent condition. The chrome's in beautiful shape. The original factory exhaust is really nice. Has the original factory clutch and brake lever. Original handlebars. The tack and speedo are in mint shape. 16,496 miles. These may not be the original handlebars. Uh, it's a 1970, okay? This was Honda's enduro bike. See over there, the XR650? This was the predecessor of the XR, XR series. The CL had the high pipe, and they would turn these into scramblers. They would just put knobby tires on them and race them off road. They would, uh, um, that was the thing to do. This is before the two stroke Elsinore was even born, three years before the Elsinore. This was it, guys. They'd remove all the uh, all the lights and, and strip it down and make it a scrambler. Just a kick ass machine. To think guys were doing races like the uh, Blackwater and uh, the, uh, what's, that, what's that one? The Pine, the Pine. Triumph. I don't know anything about it. Pine Gripper or something like that. I forget the name of it. One of you guys will Jack, play. Jack, Jack Piner. Piner. Jack Piner. The Thunderdome. Yeah, the Thunderdome. Hey, guys. That reminds me. I, I won the Thunderdome outlaw race on one of these uh, on a eighth mile flat track sand track against. I actually beat a, a pro rider in that event. And that was about three years ago. That's, that's where I got the nickname Kaplan America, right? Coming up on four years. That's where the name came from. I was wearing a uh, American flag shirt, American flag helmet, and it was so dusty I had a big mask on, so they thought I looked like uh, Captain America. But uh, that's where the name came from. That's the truth. Racing one of these to a Thunderdome championship race. So, fantastic machine. The engine is runs like a brand new motorcycle. It's spotless top to bottom, cleaned up real nice. The, the original chrome on the front fender is beautiful. The, um, listen to this thing. That don't wet your whistle. There's no hope for you. <laughs> Sounds absolutely freaking fantastic. Now this is this is an electric start bike that has kick also, so just push the button. Typical Honda quality. Or if you want to impress your buddies who haven't seen a Kickstarter in 20 years. Easy kick stop start only 16,496 original miles on this gorgeous classic this came from the collection from the old boy uh, that had the brand new Honda 50 the NOS Honda 750 in the the, the uh, cafe racer and that big collection of 40 bikes the boys went out to Illinois to pick up he was in the 70s closed his shop down this is one of his personal riders only sold it because he's getting up there in years original kickstand side stand center stand passenger pegs, uh, turn signals, everything's there, guys. I don't think you'll find a nicer one anywhere, a nicer original. This is an original bike that's been well-preserved and tuned to perfection. Let's take it for a little drive-by. We'll go over the work order in a minute because the mechanic, mechanic tuned this thing to perfection. But um, no valve noise, no piston noise, just beautiful exhaust noise. Idles perfectly.
This thing handles like a dream, man. The suspension is awesome. The brakes are better than... They're a double leading shoe front brake. That, that's probably why, but they feel as good as a disc brake to me. It stops awesome. Front and rear brakes, chain and sprockets are excellent. Front tires in excellent condition. Um, the fork boots are real nice. Electrically, the bike's a 10. The headlight, high beam, low beam, tail light, uh, turn signals, horn, everything works beautifully. Um, it, it, my dad used to say, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it might be a duck. <laughs> this is this is a duck right here. This thing's absolutely the real deal. Um, and it's good luck finding a nicer 1970 classic Honda uh, than this that's ready to go. Uh, Jeff didn't put that many hours into it. Uh, total was 14 hours, and I'll go over everything that was done to it. Um, the carburetors were completely dismantled, cleaned, and tuned, and set up uh, perfectly. This, that's why it runs so good. New fuel lines, as you can see, and brand new fuel filters, new spark plugs, uh, set the points and ignition timing, changed the oil, um, installed a new drive chain, um, fixed some of the, there's a couple wiring issues that he straightened out, wiring repairs, um, put a brand new ignition starter, a starter relay, a new chain, a new ignition key, uh, new 1040 Bell Ray oil in it, new spark plugs, and a new battery. So, um, low miles. This was part of a private collection for many, many moons, and you can see it was well cared for. So, it says on here stock exhaust. Uh, this may, they, I thought the exhaust, the, the baffles may have been modified, but it says on the work order stock exhaust. So, I believe it's the original head pipes and mufflers i thought the baffles may have been modified i'm not positive in fact i think they were modified um that's why it has that kick-ass sound they were done professionally you can see where they're welded right here and the new they put a new uh more open baffle in there and jetted it for it so it runs kick-ass so any questions about this classic cl450 scrambler give us a call 860-454-7024 june you want anything about this you've seen a bunch of these come and go cassie knows how to tune these twin cylinder Hondas. It's timed properly. This thing's got perfect compression. So. Yeah, it was done right. Absolutely. And it was well preserved by the private collector who had, he had a lot of brand new NOS bikes and this was one of his prized collector's I pieces. Saw you, I saw you pop a nice wheelie. They don't do that unless they're running oh, I, just right. I don't think I've ever had a CL450 stand straight up like this one. Well, um, this is this is definitely been tuned to perfection. The exhaust, the carburetors, uh, the valves, everything's tuned perfectly. And it, uh, it'll wheel you straight up and down, no problem. Again, uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, this one's Kaplan America approved for sure. I'd, I was, as I was driving this along, I was thinking, you know, Amy Stefanowski uh, is getting started riding. A, a good friend of ours, one of my friend's wives, and uh, she just bought a Honda scooter. She's going to quickly outgrow that. I was thinking this would be a perfect uh, st starter bike for um, a, someone like Amy who uh, wants something that she can take on the highway. You can take this thing on the highway, no problem, all day long. Um, yet, it's light enough to take off-road with the high pipes. So, um, when, if I'm thinking about friends that might be able to buy this, rest assured, uh, it's all there. Uh, I don't like selling motorcycles to friends, and if they, I do, they got to be perfect. So, this one is. I'd sell this to a friend or a family member. Thanks for watching, and God bless the United States of America. Like I said, you can use electric start or the kick start. One button, there.